Hello, I'm Amber from Ultimate Pilates. Today we're going to focus on another inner thigh burn. I must say it's one of my favourite things to work because it's important for so many reasons. So if you did my knee rehab video, uh, this is a progression on from that. It's fantastic to rehabilitate your knee. Uh, it's also amazing for any pelvic floor dysfunction, any hip issues, because we need to strengthen that inside thigh line. It all connects up and into the core of the body. So we're going to use today just a small ball. I've done a couple of other inner thigh series with circles, so I thought we'd mix it up today with the ball. I'm going to put all the springs on, or you can choose. We're going to start strong, some strong footwork. So put all your springs on, or at least put uh, two red and two blue. Okay, up to you for your footwork. Okay, let's lie down on our backs and get started. Foot bar is up in its vertical position. If uh, This is on the mega core reformer. If you have a balanced body, you can have it angled down slightly. So lie down on your back. Place the ball between your ankles. And we'll just take a couple of deep breaths in to center ourselves. I've got the heels onto the bar. Take a deep breath in, stretch your arms up. Pull up your breath. Pull up your stomach muscles. And as we exhale, gently engage into the ball. Push your arms down. Lengthen your lower back out into the carriage. Again, breathing in. Feeling up, really trying to anchor your body down into the carriage. And then we exhale. Try and keep your breath nice and smooth and even. So let's continue now, arms down by your side. You squeeze the ball from your upper inner thighs, of course. Get that mud off your heels, place your feet strongly and breathe in and stretch out. Lift up your kneecaps, keep your neutral spine position and we exhale, engage into that ball to bring it in. Again, breathing in and exhale. So it's not really a squeeze, I'm trying to keep constant pressure inwards on my upper inner thighs to help that engagement. Breathing in, pull your toes back to your face. Exhale. Press the back of your arms down, widen your collarbones again. Find your rhythm. So you want to start to move in your footwork so that there's no starting and stopping. It just continuously flows. We don't want to hold on to the tension, especially as we're a heavier spring today. You want to keep it moving. So just bend your knees, bend your hips, bend your ankles. Get your flow going. Exhale in. Warming up the body. Two more. Last one. Come back and move to your balls of your feet, your toes on the bar. Pick your heels up. Keep a connection in the ball. Breathe in again. Heels are lifted. Exhale. Again. Exhale. Really squeezing from my core. Let's go faster. All the way out. Stop just short of banging at your stomach. More breath. Come on, pull air into your body. No lazy breathing. Two more. Pull in halfway and hold. Stay in your imaginary chair and just press your heels up and down, keeping the carriage completely still, squeezing those upper inner thighs. Woo. Three, two, one. <laughs> My inner thighs are burning already. Okay, turn your feet out now into turn out. So toes pointing out to the side. Find that connection you may need to adjust your ball slightly, reposition it. Tailbone is anchored and long and really narrow your waistline in. Take a deep breath in. Stretch out and exhale. Close. Breathe in. Close. Use your breath. Three more. Keep it moving. Keep it smooth. 
Hold the next one in. Little pulses. Get heavier in your hips. Squeeze the ball more from your upper inner thighs. Hold on to that connection. Three, two, and one. Nice job there. Okay, coming in. Uh, we're going to come up for a spring change. So, yeah, come up. Actually, while we're here, let's just do a couple of bridges. Keep the ball now in between your knees. Take a deep breath in, make it really small. It's nice and heavy, so the machine's not going to move around too much. Curl. Lead with your pubic bone. So you've got your hip bone, so there's bony parts on the side, pubic bone in the center. Try and get your pubic bone up to the ceiling. Can you wrap your shoulder blades around to widen your chest more? And roll down, squeeze the ball, keep active. Feel those upper inner thighs. Make sure your headrest is flat now. If you were up for footwork, make sure your headrest is down. And again, we're just hip rolling up, scooping in our tummy, finding the seat, raising to the heels, curl, breathing, press down your hands more, and roll down. Two more times, take a deep breath in. And curl those hips up. Stand in the heels of your feet more. Pull your toes back to your face. Don't let your carriage move. Lift it up there. Keep your rib cage in, no pumping. And little pulses up. As I lift my hips up, I squeeze the ball inwards. Feel that nice, strong engagement. Back of the head down strong. Back of the arms down. Connect. Three more. Two more. The last one, hold it up there. Now slowly articulate top to bottom, bone by bone, bringing yourself down. Good job. Okay, let's come up and change our spring. So you can roll to your side if you need to. Push yourself up. Let's come to two red springs only. And then we're going to lie back down on our back. We're still using the ball. So get your straps now. We need them when we lie down. Make sure your headrest is down. If you need to, you can have it up. You can do either. I like to keep it down for my neck alignment. Place your feet into the large foot straps. Make sure you have a nostril ball. I've got hair. I'm losing my hair everywhere here. And let's put the ball in between your feet. Good. You're in that chair position. Knees position directly over your hips. Keep a squeeze in on the ball. Press your hands down and just stretch out. Keep squeezing and then come back in. So instead of it being a ball, it's more shaped like an oval now. Back to your chair position. Knees in line with your hips. Make sure your hips are square. Ribs are wrapping again. Pressing out. The further we press out, the more scoop and lift you need your tummy, the more adductor in a thigh connection we need. Stand your straps. If you're not sure about this, if you're still a beginner, I always say, place your hands under your butt. Now press out and feel how heavy you are in your hands now. Keep that same amount of pressure as you come in. So I've really got to sit down into it. I've got to, I've got to squeeze my inner thighs and scoop up my lower tummy more. Open the shoulders again. I'm okay with it though, so I'm taking my hands out. Choose the option that's right for you. One more. Long line. Now we're going straight. Okay, the legs are straight out. You go up to the ceiling. Pull your toes back to your face. Keep a squeeze. They're so nice for the knees. Lift up. Breathing in. And stretch across the room. Point your toes. Now stretch your feet. And again, flex your feet back, peel your toes to your face. Tailbone is really heavy and anchored down, ribs are down, it's not lifting. Legs stop at a 90 degree angle. I reconnect that ball woo, from those upper inner thighs and press down. Again, peeling back those toes to the face. And then last time, really pointing, stretching all the way down. Scoop your tummy, keep that connection point, and then come back up. We'll take the ball out, bend your knees, Peter Pan or bow and arrow. Okay, so we start in this position, right leg is going to go straight, 
Left leg is bending and you keep even pressure in both legs. And then you split the legs apart, staying weighted evenly. And it's like if I can see my heels, they stay in one line. Woo, feel those inner thighs. And then come back to straight legs to center. So think of a bow and arrow, repeat a pan, you're pulling it up. Really reach it back. Try and stay level on your hips, feel for it. Pull that knee back on the bent leg side a little bit more, I find usually to square off. And then come to center. I feel so good this one, I just love it. Really releasing, stretching out, breathing into here. And then exhale, gather those inner thighs together. Just a couple more. Breathing in. Stay heavy on both legs, even weight. Ooh. Trying to go a little bit wider each time. Come back. So I'm not falling off my hips. My hips are grounded. One more inside. Last one. Back to center. Both legs now straight, toes back to your face. Hold on to your straps if you need to, otherwise hands by your side. Keep your tailbone down, scissor those legs apart and then whoosh. Try and bring your heels like you're going down to your foot bar. Squeeze those inner thighs together. So I try not to think of pulling from my feet with this one. My knees, my kneecaps are soft and relaxed. I'm really working, you should feel a big burn. On these upper inner thighs, right at the top there. Two more. Point your toes, stretch, scoop the tummy, flex your feet, and shh. One more time. Opening up nice and wide, and let's exhale. Ooh, so nice. Bend in, take your feet out of your straps. We're going to come up for some seated work. Now we are, we're changing our spring down to one blue spring. Just one blue. We've done a lot of inner thigh. Now we're going to do a little bit of outer. So you're going, I'm facing you. This is my left leg. It's the leg closest to your foot bar. Put the loop, move it up around your foot. Okay, sit back on your former. Hug your kneecap in, squeeze it, sit up tall, or you can hold the base of your reformer. Just try and get your back up as straight as you can. Take that leg out, squeeze it, and shh. Now this is pretty heavy. I think I'm going to lower it down to a yellow spring. My inner thighs are tired today. If it feels okay, stay on your blue, I'm going to a yellow, okay? So, or if you want to make it easier, you sit closer this way to the shoulders. Hold on tight. And let's open up and close. So you actually keep the foot down so the leg slides along the carriage and try not to pull your foot around. Try and make it happen from your upper leg. So the toes are facing up and I'm not, I'll show you when I face the other way, drooping down or trying to lift the leg up. It's just gliding left to right, all the way further, further, further. Whew, nice job. Okay, change, other foot, the leg closest to your shoulder rest. Get it inside, move out a little bit if you want more of a challenge. Hold on, sit up nice and tall, toes up, and shh. Now we're going back into that inner thigh again. Okay, again, the leg stays flush to the former. Sit up, shh, nice and tall. Shoulder blades back. Good, and again, shh. Remember your options, you're going to be holding on here, lifting yourself up, sliding. If you need more, remember, add your blue spring or wiggle this way. Couple more. Slide that leg, you should be feeling that inner thigh now. We're going to try and do this standing, okay? Be careful, foot down in that spring. Stand up to a nice tall position. Okay, take a deep breath in. You're standing nice and tall and just slide that leg. If you feel wobbly or want to make it easier, you step this way. Standing on your left leg and you just cross that inner thigh 
in front, keeping your hips even. Keep that foot lifted now. Shh, watch your balance. Again, I'm not pulling from my knee. I'm really engaging that upper inner thigh. I'm trying not to shove my foot and grip that to pull either. So it's that nice slow engagement, activating in the correct places. Last one. Woo. Now I'm going to slide my strap up. So nice, this one for knee tracking. I place it just above my knee, so it gives that nice external rotation, that knee out, that hip out, and I'm going to squat down. Now these are low reformers, up to you how low you go. It'll keep opening this up, and you have to work to keep those inner thighs engaged. Start small, and then shh, up. Just squats again. Feel that turning out. So you feel your sit bones opening apart, and then from your sit bones, narrow them. Shh. Stand up, stand strong in your feet. Again, breathing in. And then strong in your feet. Can you sit back a bit lower? Let's go. Put the weight into your heels. Don't let that cord pull you over. You want more of a challenge? Move over this way a bit more. Just be careful to keep your inner thigh engagement. And exhale. Couple more. Sit bones widening. Last one, can we hold it there? Can we pulse it? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Standing up. Ooh, nice work, guys. Carefully sit back down onto your carriage and take your strap out. I'm going to turn around with my back towards you, which is kind of nice because you can see how things are positioned from this angle. I'm turning around. Uh, so we're going to put the foot closest to the jump, um, the foot bar in first. You're going to hug, let's move my ball out of the way here. You're going to hug your left knee for me, is the leg closest to the shoulder rest in. Sit up as tall as I can, I'll place your hands down and slide that leg from the inner thigh, sorry, from the outer thigh, I should say. And close it. So really work on your outer thigh now. And close it. Try and keep your toes straight ahead. Nothing pulling through that foot. Try and resist that. Try and sit up taller. So you're not doing this. I'll give you a bad example. See, my whole hip has moved here. No. Keep it facing this way. Keep it still. Keep it smaller. Just the leg. Two more. Sit up tall. Slide, the leg stays down. Joints are relaxed. Good job. Change sides. Slide into your foot strap, the big strap, with your left foot, leg closest to shoulder rest. Hug your right knee in. And deep breath in. Move out a little bit. So you've got a bit more tension on. Further this way, more tension. Inner thigh, let's go. Exhale. Ooh, feels good. Sit up tall. Again, really focus, turn your mind to where we want to work, that upper inner thigh the whole time here. Stand strong in your foot. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Also work, put your foot onto the ground. Both feet onto the ground. Be careful. We're standing up. Stand all the way up. Get your position further this way. The more challenging it is, remember. Stand your right leg, your inner thigh, and take the leg, other leg across your body. And back to close the carriage again. It's only small. Really balancing on this standing leg. Trying to keep this left leg lifted. Remember, use your upper inner thumb. Two more. Last one. And then lean down carefully. Slide the cord up above your kneecap. It's not sitting on the knee. Get your positioning more challenge this way. It's pulling your femur bone out, which is fantastic, but resist it from your inner thighs. 
Widen your sit bones, sit down into your imaginary chair. I'm moving this way a little bit more, want more tension. And then my sit bones narrow, shh, I stand up, squeezing my pelvic floor. Again, breathing in, widen your sit bones, stand strong in your feet. Exhale, shh, scoot the left. Couple more. And lift up. Really sit back into your heels, spread those sit bones wide. Slow it down, find that shape in the body. Exhale, grow taller. Couple more. Can we hold this next one? Hold it down, let's pulse it. Four, eight, seven, six. From the sit bones, widening. Four more. Three, two, one. Sit down. Whew. Well done. Take your strap out. Let's finish this in standing in thighs. Take your foot bar down. All the way down. Oh goodness, let's try it on a blue spring. Why not? If it's too difficult, we're going light just to make it more challenging. You can do a red. I'm choosing a blue. I'm standing up. My, whew, this may be too, <laughs> too difficult. Let's see, let's try it out. Left foot on the non moving carriage. Always stand on the base first. Right foot, I'm going to stay and turn out. Pretty wide in your legs if you can. And let's just find it. We're not using the glutes, okay? Try and get them out of it. And then exhale. Use your upper inner thighs to close the carriage. Pop. Excellent. Again, nice and slowly. Staying up as tall as you can. Open up. And then exhale. Shh. Zip, zip, zip. Feel that length being created. Two more. Ooh, this one blue is tough. Exhale. Stand in your heels like you're squeezing the heels in together. Last one. Exhale. Good job, guys. Okay, can you sit down Ooh, into your spot? Be careful. You may want to add a red spring on here. Slide down that imaginary wall behind you. Excellent. Now, all I'm moving is both legs out. Ooh and come back in. I'm trying to keep my knees back, okay? As my legs extend, I'm trying to bring my knees so that they stay in line with the second and third toe. So very deep up in here. Two more. Last one. Good job. Let's just fold forward. I'm going to go into a nice wide stance and come down and breathe. Opening up, getting a nice stretch, breathing. If you start to lose that carriage, always just for safety, keep your hands down. Bring it all the way back in. Try not to move your legs, roll up, whoo, and then wiggle that leg back in. Okay, I think your inner thighs are cooked. Thank you so much for joining me. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like.